Okay, so hi, my name is Carol Landano, and I run the house here at 602 Seaview. Um, my house was affected during Hurricane Sandy. My husband and I were here the, uh, my husband and I were here the night of, um, and we basically were here when the water was, was coming down Seaview. Um, so, uh, you know, with all the events that happened that night, we were actually displaced um, out of the home for almost a year. We moved back in in July of 2013. The reason why we moved back in, the house was not completed being fixed, the reason why we moved back in is because we were robbed. We were robbed and violated two times. Um, basically, we were living here. My son was born. We are still fixing. We completed maybe about a month after he was born in May. The house was completely finished in May. Loved it. Everything was wonderful. Everyone was happy. Everything was perfect. Flash forward, all of a sudden, we were approached in July of 2016 um, by Build It Back, which is a city-funded program, to have our house raised. It would be nothing out of our pockets. Um, my husband thought, you know, my husband and I thought this would be a great situation. Um, so we signed up for it and we agreed to it. I was pregnant with my daughter. I was due to give birth in September. My daughter came early in August. Build It Back took advantage of that came to me earlier and said, hey, we know that you just gave birth, but we need you to move out of this house because we're getting ready to raise. So we took it as it was gonna happen within a month or two. Packed up all of our stuff, we moved up, moved out of the house. Six months later, to the present day, nothing has been touched in this home. I had gone back to work in January from maternity leave. The first week I was back to work, um, there was a Martin Luther King weekend. Apparently there was a pipe that burst in the house. Now, Build It Back had legally, I signed over my keys legally to Build It Back, they were responsible for this house. You contact Build It Back, they say, well, we'll have to call you back. Well, we'll follow up with answers. I've gone to the congressman, um, I tried to see if they can help me and push forward to find out with inquiries to see what's going on. It's like, no one's helping us. Nobody's helping us. I'm not home, it's very frustrating. It's, it's, I don't know what else they expect me to do. I'm financially in a hole. In a hole, it's I'm working just to just to just to pay debt because of because of this house. It's absolutely insane. I, I don't want to do it anymore. It's this this hurricane, this one night, it's haunting our lives. We're just we need we just want to put this behind us and move forward. And that's all we're that's all we're asking for. And if raising the house is going to help us to do so, that's what we want. That's it.